Half my paycheck says that the cows on the posts are gods. Too soft for my taste. Ha! <laughs> to me, she's a bombshell and nothing more. Madam. Speak. There's only one thing that interests me. You. So, what's it like being a mummy? It has its pros and its cons. Being dead means I don't have to shave my legs as often. But having to have your bodily fluids changed every 15 days is a bit of a pain. I'm much better at it than any other mummy, of course, but it's still a pain. How did you get into illusionism with all the money you have? I'm better at it than anyone else, and I like it. And maintaining a body like mine isn't exactly cheap. I could go on talking about you forever, but... Come on, let me have the pendant. Never, Amenophis. I will give you many things, but never that. So where is this Oracle of the Shadows? Go out that door and over to the other side of the room till you reach the double doors. You'll recognize him without a doubt. Command me to kiss you, darling. <laughs> what a guy. Now do it, or I'll have you drawn and quartered. Take it easy, my dear. Hmm, it's full of coins. The thing is, I only see males. It makes sense, or there'd be a massacre. Half my paycheck says he's the Oracle. You there, Mr. Timid, are you the... I am the Oracle of the Shadows. Good to see you. I am the Supreme Head Honcho <laughs> of... <laughs> what a guy! You're Daniel Murray, chronicler of sports contests, author of bedroom contests. You're trying to get Crom Ha's pendant using cunning ruses, but she'll never surrender it to you. Your only chance is to send her back to the land of the dead, which she should never have left. I get it. And how do I do that? You shall read the Book of the Dead. Fascinating. Is it very long? Very dangerous, even for a scribe like you. If you misread the hieroglyphics, you could bring about the opposite and bring hell to the land of the living. Cataclysmic? Hetacombic! I will test your mettle 
scribe. You shall bring me eight hieroglyphics, not seven or nine, but eight, said the oracle. With these, I shall give you a syntax test, and if you pass, I shall take you to the Book of the Dead. Seems like Krum Ha has some escape artist numbers. Until I give him his eight hieroglyphics, he's of no use to me. Hey, what do you know? A mummy! I'd swear that... Okay, now I see. We're playing a shell game, are we? Well, these sarcophagi don't say anything to me. All the dough I've won after hearing... Murray, old chap, ten cents says you can't guess which one of the three bowls holds the marble. Dan, a natural gambler, couldn't resist the temptation. So he decided to decipher the tricks behind the mystery of the seven sarcophagi and the mobile mummy. That's it. I win the shell game. Dan said to himself, proud of having figured out the trick behind the sarcophagi. It was easy. I just had to pay attention. The sarcophagus always moves several steps to the right of the last place it appeared. Four, to be specific.
I wouldn't touch that for... What does a mummy that kicked the bucket millennia ago want with a dagger? No reason. One of the mummies had it, to trim its fingernails, no doubt. If I'm not... Oh, I can't do it with my hand. No. I've always been good at these things. As a boy, my room was full of street signs. Ayo, hey, you there! Exit prohibited, human. You have no authorization to leave the temple. I wasn't planning on leaving. Do you know why? Because I don't want to. Because the staff I'm holding is ancient. It was made at the beginning of the Narmer dynasty. Fascinating. Over 5,000 years ago. Good for you. The older a staff is, the more powerful it is. I'm happy for you. So you won't be able to get by me, no matter how hard you try. A piece of advice. Get a life. <laughs> what a guy. How many Aprils has your staff seen, friend? 5,000 years of primary power. That's since the Narmer dynasty. I see your 5,000 and raise you a grand. What's it going to be? Huh? I have a 6,000-year-old bat. It's positively dripping with power. How do I know you're not lying, human? When you'll see it, you'll flip. Something that beat up just has to be old. Look. Do you believe me now? Stand back, human. I possess a 6,000-year-old bat whose power is so lethal that... A little single-minded, aren't you? Impressive. It's old. Madam. Speak. There's only one thing. I could go. I think that before I let the piece of my tongue somewhere I can't remember. Go and look for it, or I'll have them rip out the rest of it.
Advice from an expert. Never shut your eyes when kissing. I have to leave you for now. The duck makes me think that it's not one of the big ones. The robots are stunned. I'll go up to the sarcophagus casually. Oh, comrade. Anything wrong? Not as far as I'm concerned, comrade. Absolutely nothing. Just following orders. In English. Chrome has orders were extremely clear. If comrade Amenophis gets near the sarcophagus, draw and quarter him. I get it. Nothing personal, of course. I happen to like it. Good for you. I'm Petzl, at your service. Pay no attention to my comrade Ducky. He's out there. Ignore your orders and let me get close to the sarcophagus. I would, comrade. Rebelling is tempting, but the yoke of duty is too powerful. As long as Krom Ha has the pendant that controls us, neither Ducky nor I can do anything for you. Nothing good, anyway. The sarcophagus has something of mine inside. Will you give it to me? Mm, I don't know. What do you say, Doctor? Think, fool. I say we let him. What if the false bottom was hiding a friend of a man of his, and he fell asleep inside by accident? Do you know what, Ducky? You're very stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Request denied. And please excuse Comrade Doc. He's out. Aren't you going to go on a break sometime? Hey, we robots. We don't take breaks. Tireless proletariat, exploited by an unscrupulous noble woman who crushes our dreams of liberty. Ignore your orders and let me get close to the sarcophagus. I would, comrade. Rebelling is tempting, but the yoke of duty is too powerful. As long as Krom Ha has the pendant that controls us, neither Ducky nor I can do anything for you. Nothing good, anyway. Back to Ducky. Why do you say that he's out of it? Because he's stupid. And I mean stupid, stupid, stupid! Is he good for anything? Don't insult him, comrade. We are all part of the proletariat. There are parrots on skates, poodles that dance, and then there's Ducky, who does magic tricks, thinks, and sings. Tell Ducky to do a trick for me. You fool! Do some magic! Tell Ducky to think. Think, fool. The current economic crisis is primarily due to bad management and unbridled prematistic yearning on the part of the large banks, which have undermined monetary confidence by selling smoke at the price of gold. You are stupid, stupid, stupid. You have no idea what you're talking about. Changing the subject. Hey, uh... Hey, uh, comrade. I don't believe in magic, but one must be practical. Vegetable, stuffed, allergy, synonymous. Shall I go on? I've always been more interested in... I hate stuffed animals. Do I look foolish?
This is a royal stupid... Duh. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Dan Murray, fooling around, first try. Did it work? Mine again. What's next, a spinning clown? It's cute. That half-wit Liz would probably... Oh, and why should I care? I'm not going to ask by what absurd logic it's here. I don't want to get dizzy. It hardly takes up any space. In the air, it seems so much bigger. Wanted little symbols? Now you have them. There's one. You wanted little symbols? Now you have them. There's one. You wanted little symbols? Now you have them. There go two. Not two, but one. The duck is a hieroglyphic, but the one on the other side is a drawing. Sorry. You wanted little symbols? Now you have them. There's one. You wanted little symbols? Now you have them. Four at one time. That's me. Eight hieroglyphics mine eyes do see, said the oracle. Not seven, not four, not three, not... Can we get to the point or what? Two. Now, at last, you will have to confront the five questions of Egyptian syntax. Not one, not nine, not... Why are you looking at me like that, scribe? Let's get to work. Go ahead, then. First question. Identify the main verb in the following sentence.
the emer... Wrong! Hecatombic answer. You'll have to repeat the exam. I bet half my paycheck there's a... I'm ready. First question. Identify the main verb in the following sentence. The tar. Not bad. Second question. What is the direct object of the following phrase? The girl. Good. You have chosen wisely. Third question. Which hieroglyphic acts as the nucleus of the subject in this sentence? The duh. Good. Not poor. Not excellent. Not satisfactory. Not bad. Neither here nor there. But good. Fourth and second to last question. One of the following hieroglyphics cannot be conjugated in the passive voice. Which is it? The lab... Astonishing! You weren't fooled by the double noun and the adjectival nucleus of the subject, eh? You're talking to Dan Murray. Not to worry. Fifth and last question. Which hieroglyphic begins the subordinate clause of the noun? The tar. Exam passed. How did you do it? By paying attention, said Dan, the answer in all cases was the hieroglyphic in the same position in both the tablet and in the phrases that appeared for me to choose from. What phrases? Forget it. My life is more complicated than it looks. So let's get on with this book of stiffs. Oh, uh, yes, of course. Uh, take this. Oh, these bugs are disgusting. Couldn't you come up with anything worse for me? It is the key that opens the door to the chamber that holds the book of the dead. Good. I'll just have to find the courage. That is in. 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 I can't. I can't do this to her. I love her. Nothing worse than a lovesick oracle. Give it back to me. Take a seat and wait. Where's the book? I'll never tell you. Never. I can't help you to do her in. My light, my joy. How many millennia have I loved her for? Not four, not seven, not eight, not twelve, not one, not thirteen, not... Have fun. I can't handle saccharin. I really can't. The worst thing is that the halfwit didn't give me the full scoop. I still don't know where the Book of the Dead is, but half a paycheck says that I find it with this pot.
Oh, I don't think there's anything that I find so disgusting. Let's be precise. It's not a male. It's a female. If I know anything, it's women. Now that I think about it, the ones in the pond are all males, and mine is a female. It's locked! Cursed Book of the Dead! It could have been open already. The bottom has a strange shape. Both have a star. Do they fit together? Touchdown! And now? Don't you dare. You'll end up feeling sorry for me, and then I'll have to destroy you. Do I look like my name is Sister Daniela? No. Let's get on with it then. Which one of these five passages is it? Three-legged creature, black eye, grocery bag. Silly fool! You're waking up the dead! It's to make it more exciting, dear. Hourglass. Girl in profile. Sick bird. You're going to get us all sent to hell, Amenophis! What's bothering you is that you'll be first. Crude slash marks. Anachronistic slot machine. Oh, please! Take pity on me, Amenophis! Oh, it just doesn't pay to be a good person. Darling, hand over the pendant and go on your merry way. Now that he had the pendant that controlled Kromha's robots, Dan was in the driver's seat. Now for the false bottom of the sarcophagus. Hurry. Well, this guy's seen better days. Right, Dan. What's his problem? He's in bad shape. He's completely brainless. Finally, Dan had managed to teletransport Big Albert's body to Fly's laboratory. But now there was a new problem that they didn't have a solution to. Where was his brain? No, Dr. Celsius. For the moment, let's leave Murray out of this. But he's been in contact with Fly. Without the brain, Fly can't reanimate Big Albert. And neither can you. You find that body, Doctor. Or you will never see the brain again. But... Dr. Zelsius, you may go now. Sit down, Miss Alea. Dinner will be served shortly. I've already had a bite. <laughs> <laughs> in the meantime, make yourself at home. People don't kidnap me in my home. Oh, you're not kidnapped, my dear. Yes, yes, yes. Extremely kidnapped. No, let's not argue. Within an hour, you'll see things exactly as I do. Until then, I... I'll start by getting rid of you, sir. Then, I'll rescue Big Albert's brain. And then I'll get out of here. Without saying goodbye. Liz, as always, was sincere and direct. 
she would put Fitz Randolph out of commission, steal Big Albert's brain, and escape from the Zeppelin without saying goodbye. You are disconcerting. I've always said so. But allow me to remind you that my skin is as thick as an alligator's. No, oh, I can't bite you or knock you over the head. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Oh, don't worry. I'll figure something else out. 